morning, good morning, and uh, good evening, good afternoon, where you are, you may be in the world. Sam Tobert, Sound of Joy Music Services, coming back at you live again. As I say, I'm trying to get into this uh, live uh, atmosphere um, so I can interact with you, my viewers. I have... Uh, not sure where everyone was from yesterday, but I did have one gentleman from Romania who was watching me. I'm not sure what time it was there. So you're going to see me trying different time slots as to when I can go live. I have a different camera set up, a different angle, you might say. Got a picture of me in the background I took oh, when I was 20 years old. That's not an actual uh, magazine. But I was um, at an amusement park, and you could take pictures and then put any kind of a template around the picture. Of course, I picked the one that said musician. Let me reach back and get it. I reached. This is, this is the template that I picked uh, at um, Great Adventure in New Jersey. It says musician, new artist of the year. So I've had that, uh, that's, a, that's a Sam Talbot at 20, 20 years old. And uh, even back then, I was creating music, I was playing all types of songs, and I wanted to be a, make my mark in the music industry. So I, I may not have made a scratch, you might say, or a dent, but I do have a few pebbles out there, and I'm looking to put some more out there. This format didn't exist back in that day, and I wish it did. I wish it did. But yes, yeah, that's... Um, that's a young Sam Tolbert uh, with more hair than what I have now at 20 years old. But this I keep out as a reminder to remind me why I love this thing we call music. There we go. So, as always, I am monitoring. For those who come in, I want to be able to answer any questions that may come up. So I am monitoring the stream. There we go. Looking at it better. Chords of the day. Why chords or chords, chord or chord of the day? Um, chords help to give the body to a melody. You will find that there are, I won't say millions, that's a lot of numbers, uh, Hundreds of thousands of songs built around chords. How many chords are there? I've shared this in the past. I have all these books around me. This one I have is tattered. The covers come off. Piano. Piano chords. This is just one of the many books I've purchased over the years because I did not know every chord. And one thing I always hated was when I was trying to learn a song and I didn't know what chord they were playing. What's the name of that chord? How does it sound? So I purchased a book. I don't know if you can see that with all the lighting I have here. A book that had what? Chords in it. This is just the key of C. Two pages, three pages, three pages of chords. So, and as I began to practice them, which is really what it's all about, it's about the practice. You practice before you perform. When I began to practice those chords religiously in every key, all of a sudden I began to hear the pattern of songwriters and why they were selecting certain chords and how those chords brought out the melody, how the singer behind those chords sounded better when the chording was able to track where they were going vocally. Now, I've said, uh, I'll say hundreds of times in my videos, I am not a singer, but I know good singing. I can interpret, my ears can interpret a person who has the tonality, who has the placement of their punctuation, who has the articulation of their vocal cords and if i find myself playing for someone like that how much easier it is to chord behind a vocal a real vocal uh singer 
not someone who is challenged by not knowing where their range is or what kind of um, how high or how they sh how where their breath marks when they're singing gospel singers I've always said are some of the more challenging musicians to play for because they do everything through feeling I may want to change a chord and they may want to stay in one note or one range of a chord of a song so as a musician my ears had to tell me either hold or lead or support depending upon how long they can hold a note how their inflection of a note is so I've had the um, let me put this down I've had the the challenge of playing not just for choirs but for vocalists and for instrumentalist so I come up with chord of the day and I try to give you chords that are relative to playing music in a church as I am again I am a I'm a retired church musician but I am not a retired mu musician I still love the articulation of notes so for today's chord of the day we're going to be in the key of C and we may modulate to the key of D-flat, C-sharp, for those who like that terminology, to show you how um, a simple phrase in a, a hymn, well, I'm going to pick I Surrender All because it is a common hymn which may pop out at any time during the service, and show you chords that can enhance the, the path of the melody of, of this song. Let's switch our scene. I love doing this. Okay, so this is our our study scene where we have our keyboard, our Cordy app, let you know what key is in. You get to see me in a different view. You know, I'm very big on playing scales for a few reasons. Number one, warm up your fingers. Number two, train your ear to hear notes in a particular position. Middle C, octave, octave lower, octave higher, octave higher, octave higher. You should be able to look and know where those notes are because that's very important. And then the second part is if there is a melody going to be sung, what scale is that melody being sung in? So if I were to go to the chorus of I Surrender All. Now, I listened to my um, my live from yesterday, and I wasn't singing notes. In my head I was, but I was just speaking. So, but if I were going to relative pitch, I Surrender All. I can sing notes. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Don't ask me to go back. I can't do that. I Surrender All. I Surrender All. It scales. All to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Okay, so yes, I have relative pitch. I am not a singer, but as I told you, I do know notes. And that helps me when I'm trying to figure out what chord phrasing would I want to use. C, E, G, C, C, E flat. G, A flat, B flat, B flat, C, relative pitch. Once I get in the range of the basic scale, I can find the other notes that I may want to include to bring out what I'm trying to accomplish chord-wise or melody-wise. So I surrender all, very basic. Surrender all. Now, the chords I use there, are they hymnal based? Yes and no. So I always have a, a bass, who joined us? A bass chord, bass chords to, to work from. This way I can, in my head, pitch if I'm going to change uh, a chord that's being sung by unison singing, I have that ability to do that. 
So if I want to go uh, minor, Now I just changed the chording I just did the first time, but the melody stayed the same, which is always important because the melody lets the hearer recognize what song is being sung. So I'll pick chords. I'll I'll look at at I'll look at the keyboard, or I'll hit I'll pitch it in my head. Holding that bass on the bottom. Re, re resolve. Da, go diminish. Now, don't want to go to a B flat chord. Oh, now that just changed everything. Why can I use that chord? Because in the ski, in the scale of B flat, there's an F there. So it's going to sound like it belongs, what we call reharm. But you got to resolve. So many chords can be applied to your basic songs. So three, ren. There it is. Render. Oh. Now, how can I put that A major in I Surrender All? Because in the scale of A major, it's using the same scale notes, which means I can go to an A chord. But I still got to resolve out of that. Bango Jazz. All to thee, my blessed. Now look at this chord. Elements of A, a B flat, of um, D minor, of F major. Then they call it a G minor 9 because of the lowest note. If I took that off, it becomes a B major 9. The la again, the, the lowest note in the scale determines the name of the chord and the sound. Resolve. It's safe. Now sometimes everybody goes here. Yeah. But I like to, again, because it's music, find another path. Bless it, Savior. Then resolve. Uh -uh. Then I serve. Turn around. Turn around, court. missing a chord there. I said the bass, the last, the lowest note will kill a chord if you miss it. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm missing the, 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 the bass note. Be 
because I'm changing from the norm. As I say, once you know where your home chords are, if you ever go away from your home chords and you get lost like I am right now, you can always go home. different ideas in my head till I find what I'm what I'm looking for You can see I can run. <laughs> I can run. Make sure I don't, I don't miss anybody. I could run chords not for days, not even for hours, but for minutes in one key because every note, every chord change in every key is open to my ears. But I'm following the melody. I surrender all. I surrender. I can end in a minor, go classical. And go straight to right there. Go jazz. to really express what goes on in the head of a musician who has been um, blessed to learn chords from every song he has ever heard. I can borrow songs from the Disney theme movies, uh, from cartoons, from uh, big the big band, from classical. Just go grab those chord changes, those, those uh, influences that would keep me captivated in front of a television set back in my early days or at the radio listening to somebody play jazz and I go, gee, how is he... How is he getting that chord in the song? Then when I get the opportunity to review a chord book and it says, oh. I go, oh. That's all it is, break it down. But that bass on the bottom. And then apply it to a melody. In my head, that's what I hear. Because I can imagine it vocally or in my own term, hear it in my head, 
and then go to the keyboard and look where are those notes in re in reference to the scale. If I wanted to go up, da -da -da -ba 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 -ba. how do I know where those notes chords are? Because I practice chords in every key so that if I can think it, I refer back in my mind, when did I practice that? Oh. The harmonic minor scale. Richard Smallwood song. Surrender. All right, I don't think I. If you're if you're viewing this, please let me know that you're here. If you have any comments or questions while I'm doing my live Sam's Court of the Day, I welcome you to post your comment. I am watching. I am also streaming on my Facebook page and in my Facebook group. So if you'd like to have some comments, you can um, come to the YouTube page. The link should take you here. And you can post your comments also. I'm now I'm just doing I Surrender All. And I'm only in the key of C. Imagine I have uh, what, 12 more notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 11 more keys I could do this in. If I were to go to B major. I'm just looking at it. I surrender oh. uh -huh. I was one of that that key I surrender and I should know this to do that. Let me change my quality app to B major because the concept is still the same. There we go. B major. Because you never know. In gospel music, someone will start singing. I surrender. The minor. Flat major resolve diminish your minor could be minor, but I always put a major and a minor together. yet so because I'm in B major now I got to think of all the changes I was just doing in C where the notes are in B major scale and what chords you see me doing all practice.
practice exercises I do just to keep my ears free from being clogged with always having the same note. I have to be able to manipulate every note that is in front of me. I know I'm going to resolve to a D flat and resolve to a to a G flat or uh, G flat to a G A flat minor. I'm going to drop it down. Going to resolve it. G. C with a G bass, right? Not G, but this G, right? E minor, and resolve back to B major. Because I have practiced those chords in the past, I've heard songs use those changes. G. I can go to A major. I can go from here to B, B flat. Drop down to G flat. To B major. How many chords have I shared with you so far? Not just in the key of C, but in the key of B major. And if you want to continue to go down and go to B flat, everything becomes easier. easier because although I may not play every song in B major when I get to, to uh, B flat that is one of my favorite keys Take the time. Hey, Danny. Thanks for coming in. And Trayman, how are you doing? Thanks for coming in. Giving you a live chord of the day. Um, I want to be able to establish when I go live. So I'm trying different times and um, always open to sharing any questions or taking any questions you might be fielding. So I'm using for my chord of the day is how you would apply chords to the chorus of I Surrender All, which is a common song that is used in in the... Let me just change my setting. Common song that is used in all of your, all of your churches. Everyone has their approach uh, to playing this song. Mine was always one from a classical jazz uh, notation-wise. Um, Melody at the top, which is important. And then what chording can I put? So I started in key of C, went down to B major just to show you that it is possible to transpose without using a button. And now I'm in B flat, which 
I think uh, from a congregation standpoint, it's a better key to play I Surrender All In. But you're always at the mercy of the person in the microphone. If the person in the microphone starts in B flat, then you've got to be prepared to support. Hey, Mrs. B flat. Hello. Sorry, I, I, I'm, I don't have... Um, your request uh i'm not doing viewer requests uh right now i'm trying to see how i can set up a, a routine viewer request one day sam's quarter of the day the next day um i did get a copyright strike from one of the songs i aired yesterday i just had to answer it wasn't a bad one but uh the commission song i thought it would it would have been one of the other songs but it was the um the uh commission song that got me a cop not a strike a notification of infringement of a copyright so it was easy to take care of all i did was to have them mute out me playing it in the background to break down the chords which i said i knew might be an issue because other sites don't like to hear their music being played on somebody else's page they feel that that person is monetizing their their music on their page and everybody wants to be paid i understand about that i've got probably 20 copyright notifications from other people using my music and when I go to their page where it's being used and I see that they've only got 10 viewers I go come get some more let me help you build your if I can build someone else's page with my music with what I'm doing right now and get them monetized I got no problem doing that because you know we're all in this together I'll put it like that if we can get a million people to view our views and a million people that same million to view somebody else's views and the ad makers give people, monetize them to help them purchase more equipment to do a better job, then who am I to chase anybody? Who am I to chase anybody? Anyway, get away from that. I don't want YouTube be <laughs> looking at me strange. Uh, but uh, via, yeah, uh, viewer request I would do on another live, or you just put it in the, in the chat and I will, in the comments, and I will see it. What's that song? He's... Blood recorded by Shirley Caesar. Don't know that one, so that'd be one I'd have to pull up. Um, yeah, put that in the comments section. Well, it's in the comments section now. I'll see it, and uh, I may add that on to um, either next live one or just post a, a video of it. As I said, when I don't know a song, I've got to take the time and use the same concept. How many, what's this, what is the melody? Oh, his blood. Okay, yeah, that makes it. That I probably would have found it. That, uh, but the application is the same: melody, chords, bass. That's the crust of a song. What is the melody? What are the chords they're using? And what is the bass note that supports all of it? So in B flat, I surrender. Let me change my, change my view. I surrender. I surrender. All. And I'm actually singing now too. I wasn't singing before. This note is starting to stick on me because I noticed in my yesterday's live when I would speak the words, I surrender all, it sounded horrible. So I said, you know, I relative pitch, I surrender all. Just don't sing loud, you know, sing a solo, solo that nobody can hear you, but you can articulate chords you want to put around it. I surrender all. Even my music makes me sound better. I surrender all, all to be my blessed Savior. I doing is picturing um, musical um, I, want, I probably don't know the correct word to put with it articulation around the melody I surrender oh I decided to go up so but I have to now uh, chord around that to match that Oh, 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 o
that's where I wanted to go, but because uh, you're not in my head, you are now seeing what I do. Um, if I were working with a soloist and the soloist says, well, gee, I don't want to sing the song. I don't want to end on the low part of the song. How would, how can I? And usually when a soloist asks me that, I have to let them know I'm not a singer, but <laughs> if I were a songwriter mode, I would say, if you don't want to end, I, I, I surrender all, I would tell that person, go up. I surrender. Uh, oh. to hear that note in my head to get that chord in there. And I only do that from, as I say, singing to myself, number one, not doing it live like this, and trying. Gee, what if I had a, a singer that wanted to, excuse me, go a little further than what they normally do. Just change my scene. Go a little bit differently in their approach uh, add, no, not do the norm, not do the actual standard. But it is um, the application of chords. When you, when you look to see what chord could I possibly use on any given song. Now, of course, hymns is like, um, it's an open season on hymns. You can just uh, determine reharm. It's almost as if though the music has been harmed in a physical way and you want to re-harm it <laughs> again I understand their concept but when they keep using the same chords that's when I sort of back up and I go okay you're re-harming this song with the same so chords you re-harmed that song now they all sound the same where I'll look at it and go if I'm going to re-harm a song or Reharmonize, I should say, reharmonize, not reharm, but re reharmonize the song. That means I'm going to change everything around the song except the melody. So when they start changing the melody, then the song becomes unrecognizable. Now you're just in a concert mode where, hey, I can go anywhere I want in a concert mode. But in a church mode, you want people to, uh, to have a sense of that song that I'm singing belongs to me, if though I am an individual singer. And because I don't sing, I have to put my mindset in the mindset of those who do, so I don't mess up, mess up the song. Yeah, change my attire. Oh yeah, I'm rocking the Sound of Joy uh, shirt. If you want to look at it, this is one of the shirts you can get from, you can get from the uh, from our store. This is our logo. Always trying to push the, the merchandise also. This is time for my ad. This cup is an excellent for keeping your beverages cold and your other beverages, your warm beverages, hot. This will hold ice for about 12, 13 hours. So it'll keep your beverage cold. Good for when you're practicing. And I do drink my water and I do keep myself hydrated. That's my adding. You can visit our store anytime you want. I'm going to be putting some more things in there for the for the coming season, uh, musically related, some different cups and uh, perhaps a different uh, a different shirt, um, music uh, in, uh, connotation. I may even put an actual chord phrasing on it. Maybe I'll put some chords on the shirt. You can walk around with chords on you, way to practice. But when you're up, when you're applying chords, when I say chord of chord of of the the day I, I don't just give you one chord I don't just say there you go now what are you gonna do with that chord no I I will show you a chord chords and the application you will see where that chord can be used in any particular song so let me open this up because I am live are there any questions I am watching uh, the, the stream Outside of request, uh, I'll save the request for when I do my next uh, viewer request. Um, 
stream. I had fun with that the other day. But if there are any questions from those who are watching me, no questions. Okay. Um, well, for those that came late, uh, I will try to um, be a little bit more diligent. I just threw this in when I woke up this morning. I said I wanted to do a chord of the day using the song I Surrender All. And the thought came, well, why not just go live? Why rec record a 20-second, a 2-minute or 10-minute video? Go live, like, just like you did yesterday, and see who's on. Uh, you had fun doing it live. As I say, uh, a request I'll, I'll do during... Um, my my live viewer request. If not, I will do it as a, as a separate five to eight minute video of a particular song, uh, where I won't be playing someone's copyrighted material in the background, so I don't infringe upon the YouTube listeners. And um, I usually end with a song. So since I've been doing, I surrender all. Let me give you a full version of that, and we'll switch the key to D flat, C sharp, which is where majority of musicians find themselves playing I Surrender All. Let's change my view. And this will take us out of our chord of the day for today. I may do another one tomorrow. All right, now, opening, of course, when you're playing this song, usually someone will start to sing it, and then you have to find them and find their key. But when you know your scales... It's always going to start on the third note of the scale. Now, that's low, but that's where a... A, a male voice would, would start it. Sounds muddy all the way down there, and it should. That's a range where you shouldn't really have to play, but you should be able to be down there. Pick it up.
And that is Sam's quote of the day. Thank you all. This is B flat. Uh, Traymon. Uh, Danny came in. I'm not sure if others have have come in and just did not acknowledge. I always like to acknowledge those who spend some time with me. As I say, I will be testing one of the best times to go live. Uh, my analytics tell me that I get my biggest uh, viewership on Saturday afternoons uh, between, I believe it's between 12 and 6 p.m. So I may investigate that tomorrow, maybe at noon. I may go live just to see how many people that are not working, that are home, maybe doing something, uh, or even practicing, not committed to a, a service somewhere if you're a church musician, just so that I can uh, reach as many of the viewers that I have. Of course, these, will, these live streams will be on my page so you can view at your leisure. But thank you for coming in. Sam Tobit, Sound of Joy Music. Be blessed and take care.